From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Florida's top education official says funding will continue next year for students learning virtually because of the pandemic. This means remote learning will be an option for kids next semester. State Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran says he's working on a new executive order to extend that funding. Families in Sefner need help from the community after Tropical Storm Ada damaged graves at a cemetery. The storm brought down a large tree in Mayberry Cemetery last week that tree damaged graves and exposed caskets the bay the mayberry cemetery association and families with loved ones in that cemetery plan to meet on saturday morning to begin removing the tree so they can repair the graves sarasota police are renewing the push for information in a 1985 cold case officers say 28 year old denise marie stafford was found dead in october of that year on tarpon avenue detectives believe she was at home with her child when she was killed we're told Stafford and her husband were known to go to places like the Playground Lounge and Sawmill Restaurant. If you know anything, call police. Now here's Dennis with Florida's Most Accurate Forecast. Dennis? How you doing, everybody? Skies are clear across the area, and we definitely had a cool start to the day, 40s and 50s. Each morning over the next few mornings, those temperatures will start to be rising a little bit. Upper 50s to lower 60s from Palm Harbor to Oldsmar over to Tampa, St. Pete, waking up noticeably warmer than most everywhere else in the lower 60s and yet still mid 50s such as Hernando and Pasco County. But compared to the mid 40s, which is what we had on Wednesday, you will notice the difference low 60s from Polk County back to the beach. So right onto the overnight skies remain clear temperatures in the 60s in Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. The heat returns. In fact, low to middle 80s by the early part of next week, and I think that sticks around right through Thanksgiving. Thanks, Dennis. Don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.